Well, today I think I'm going to move my jet ski over to the garage. Um, last night, I don't even know why, I forgot to take the camera out. And I hooked the battery up to it, gave it a little test, and it turned over. It's got spark, we sprayed some ether in it, and it fired. Um, but in the process, I got it covered in Marvel's Mystery Oil because the um, I filled the cylinders up with it to hopefully unseize the engine if it was seized. And it is not. It is not seized. So that's good news. But me being the idiot that I am, I uh, cranked it over with the, each cylinder full of marvels and it blasted up huge geyser and that would have been nice to have on camera but i'm i forgot so covered everything i also tested the compression compression was good both cylinders were 132 so and that's better than the jet ski that i got in my basement so i think i'm just gonna build this one up and ride this one this year so but i'm gonna move it i'm gonna clean all the oil off of it and get it moved over into the garage and We'll see, see how it goes. Another thing that happened too was it rained and the entire hull filled up with water, which brought more mouse pee into the middle of it. So I gotta clean that out again. I just showed a, a clip of, um, you could see I had the hose up underneath where the water box is and I was spraying and you could see it was a steady stream. I never took the water box out because it's kind of a pain to deal with, but that's where it's all coming from. So realistically, if I really want it perfect, I got to take the water box out and clean it. That won't happen today. I probably might do it while I have it in the garage, just so I, I know it's good and this summer once if if any water gets in there i'll know it'll stay clean because i just it's nice when you pop the hood and it all looks clean under there especially if i was going to go sell it but right now i'm just letting the water drain back to the middle so i can give it one last vacuum clean it up i figured i should show the jet ski that i keep talking about the other one that i got in the basement because i'm going to grab some parts for it so i can um put them in mainly rebuild the carburetor but also i need all new fuel lines and and i'm probably going to need the the battery out of my the jet ski i have now oh uh primer kit also i gotta get the primer kit that's down in my basement so this is uh my friend blaze's jet ski this is a uh, 750 this is uh curtis's 440 he put a uh exhaust on his you can see it's this is nice and clean. He just oh he put a new carburetor on it. And this is what I was working on. I was tearing it down so I could paint it and I never I never got around to finishing it up. And then I, that one that other jet ski came along, so that's where that's not where I am with that. And we got a new carburetor. Rebuild kit here. There's a primer kit. This is my battery. So I got the little Red Express backed up. It's kind of in a low area here, so I can hopefully load this myself. My plan is to pick the front up, swing the front up on, and then swing the front up onto the tailgate and then just push it in. I 
went e even easier than I thought it was gonna go. Probably made a lot of people cringe though. Sliding in, more sliding than I wanted to do to it, but I don't have anybody else to help me, so. You gotta do what you gotta do. Almost forgot my Pepsi. We're all loaded up and just ski, just got one strap on, I'm not going far, not going anywhere fast. I got the dolly in there because I want to work on that too. I should do something with this extra bit of strap here. Good enough. Um, so we'll see over at the garage. We made it. Now I gotta unload it. Get these saw horses set up. I'm gonna set it right on here and then give me a nice platform to work on it and I don't know which direction I have it should have it facing, but I gotta get somebody to help me lift it up here because it's a little too heavy to lift up here by myself. stand now and we have more water I don't know where it keeps coming from but there is more water in there which is annoying but we'll get it cleaned up and see about taking this carburetor off well it's a good thing we're not using the choke because we just lost a screw that holds the wire in I think we got everything disconnected now it's just to get the uh, other bolts looks like everything is 10 millimeter basically except for these two bolts the two main bolts that hold it on these other ones are 12 millimeter Oof. that air filter is a little disgusting You can see right inside there there's a bunch of shit well I guess that's as far as uh, I can go with the carburetor for now because we don't have any uh, carburetor cleaner I thought we did and apparently we don't so one other thing I'm curious about before I really get it going is I just want to see what the exhaust looks like I'm not sure, but it could be. Oh, it doesn't feel like there's a. It doesn't feel like there's a nest in there, but I'm just gonna see if I can pop this off real quick and just determine if I have to worry about the exhaust being plugged. Looks like we're in uh, pretty good shape here. The exhaust does not look like it's gonna nest in it. It looks like it's got some oil in it from last night, but there's uh, no nest in the exhaust there. And I might just get a piece to fill in here because this is a muffler. That way I get a nice loud jet ski. Um, I got all, get the carburetor soaking, so hopefully it'll peel the paint off. I, got, I was going to start doing some fuel lines, but there's no point until I put the gas tank in and put everything back together and see how exactly it goes together. I really wanted to get the carburetor rebuilt today, but we don't have any uh, carburetor cleaner here, so I gotta get some of that before I take the carburetor apart. Yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully it starts right up, but that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. So after I left the garage, I came home and I was thinking about it, and I decided to just order a brand new carburetor because the paint was all chipping off of that one, all right along the uh, the round part, and that's where the pump is. And I was afraid that if I didn't get all the paint off, that it wouldn't seal, and then I wouldn't have good um, fuel pressure because uh, the pump would be all messed up. A new carburetor was cheap enough. Um, that way, it'll all be brand new. Hopefully, run better. These newer, these newer, they call them square body carburetors instead of round body, so that they're, they're supposed to be more reliable. So. 
hopefully that that makes it better gives maybe give me more power we'll see but that's supposed to be in uh by next weekend so hopefully sometime next weekend i'll be able to get back there and work on it i got ordered a couple other parts i ordered some new hydro turf because the jet ski i ride now has a uh, hydro turf all the way up the sides and the hydro turf that comes on that on it comes on a factory ski is just the bottom so i wanted to i wanted to put it on the sides the way i had it before because i like that and i ordered some new oil to uh mix with the gas so i can uh so i can get some fresh gas because that stuff in the in my tank there was from last season and i don't really want to run that through the new carburetor and stuff so Hopefully it'll all be in by next weekend and I can get back to working on it, but I'd say that's it for now. Thanks for watching.